Meantime, state Democrats coming together to slam former President Trump's plan should he return to office. CBS News Miami's Joan Murray is in Hollywood with the public warnings now on display in that side of the story. Joan? Yeah, we are here in Hollywood, and perhaps when you've been going up and down the highway, you might have seen billboards like the one behind me. It has a picture of Donald Trump and also talking about something called Project 2025. It's something we're all going to be hearing a lot more of in the days and weeks ahead, and we have a look at exactly what it means. As we wait to hear what distractions and lies come out of Trump's mouth tonight at his golf resort, we're speaking up. Democrats on the attack ahead of Donald Trump's Doral appearance. Florida State Senator Chevron Jones leading the charge. A Trump presidency uh, will make Trump more a king than a president, giving him all the power to go after his political enemies and enact the revenge he is so obsessed with. Their message going up all over South Florida in these billboards talking about Project 2025. That's a conservative blueprint for the next administration. On their webpage, they say, quote, if we are going to rescue our country from the grip of the radical left, we need both a governing agenda and the right people in place. Donald Trump has tried to distance himself from Project 2025, but Democrats say a Trump presidency would mean further attacks on reproductive rights for women. Project 2025 delivers on Trump's promise to punish women. Women will die if this plan makes it to the White House. And Miami-Dade School Board member Lucia Baez-Geller said Trump is no friend of Latinos. Trump and extreme MAGA Republicans, they do not care about Latinos. Their entire political brand has been built around demonizing and attacking us and pushing a racist, one-sided agenda narrative of the hard-working men and women that I know, that I love, and that I teach, and that I represent. So you can see from th that news conference today that Democrats are really going to be going after the Latino vote and also uh, women's votes, and expect to be seeing a lot more of these billboards and other ads in uh, days and weeks ahead. Reporting in Hollywood, Joan Murray, CBS News, Miami.